okay so a fairly very simple program right i am using a simple for loop i am iterating i am taking two variables i and f i is i am using i as my iterator right and uh, the condition is i is less than equals to 5 i plus plus and i am multiplying f into i and storing it in f itself right this essentially would be printing the factorial of 5 because wo 1 se leke 5 tak chal raha so this simply would be printing factorial of 5 right theek hai now uh, what will be the output of this program i guess you all might have seen so the output of this program would be 120 right okay excellent nisar now let us start some tweaks if i give a semicolon here right i gave a very simple semicolon here right first question will this program compile yes no 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 yes all right so let us check that out yes it compiled with zero errors and zero warnings next question what will be printed if i run this since it compiled properly okay so what will be printed 1 5 1 1 1 right now this is a standard uh, type of a question right which is asked in uh, uh, say mcqs right at dcs and such companies right a very standard question right and uh, what is the format of this question format is that if we give a semicolon after for loop right what happens runtime error why runtime error no runtime error since we are not having any pointers or anything we are not accessing any kind of memory so there won't be any kind of segmentation fault or something right so this would work right there won't be any runtime error right for loop would be terminated okay maybe right let us see right now if i run this see what it prints it prints 6 okay so in a way none of us knows for loop 75 percent tak to nahi hai koi bhi. anyways right now now that you know that uh, the output would be 6 can you tell me why is the output 6 Can you tell me why is the output 6? Number of iterations After for loop i equals to 6 Yes, excellent Right, so What is happening here is This is as good as a for this thing, this statement is as good as a for with a block without any statement. Right. So if you understand this correctly, this is as good as a for with a block without any statement. It is this kind of for. Right. So what would happen in this case? I would start incrementing from 1 to 5. Right. And when I would become 6, the loop would break and it would come out of that loop. Right, getting it. So this statement, it is as good as a for with blank block. Right. So once this entire for all the iterations are complete, only then this statement, this block would be executed. Now since C is a block structured language, having unnamed block is a very common thing. You can always have. Right. So this does not give you any compile time error or anything. Right. So this is pretty common. That is what I would say, right? Then I am having the statement f is equal to f into i. So since value of i would be 6, this would become 1 into 6. 
right and what would be printed is 6 is that clear right very standard question in mcqs and those guys fool you with such questions not just you even i have got fooled many times right 